Good evening. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Uh, great to see you. And uh, thank you so much for joining. Happy Wednesday, guys. Um, thank you, Yolanda, for being super early. Raul, nice meeting you. I think I did. I see you yesterday. <laughs> okay, but thank you so much for joining. Yes. Uh, Ana Maria, thank Good you evening. so much. Yeah, yeah, right. I was like, wait, I didn't see your name yesterday. Grisia, good evening. Claudia, thank you so much for joining. How are you guys? How is your Wednesday? Good. Is it going well? In my, in my case, very busy because I have a lot of meetings today. Oh. I start uh, at 8 o'clock and I wow. finish at around 1.30 1 p.m. Oh, my then God. I had another, another meeting. I finish around... 5 5 p.m okay. very wow. very busy okay <laughs> busy and exhausting i imagine because having meetings is very hard so yes but it's in in uh, in zoom in the, yes uh, my, in my in my office uh, a lot of people have uh, has covid and we need to back our home uh, to teleworking. I oh, mean, so teleworking. you're doing home office? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, I have seen that recently. A lot of companies decided to go back to home office um, as well. Same with me, you know. I started doing home office since quarantine, and I don't think my company is thinking about going back because, as you said. There are a lot of uh, COVID cases, like a lot of flu, a lot of allergies in the air. So yeah, that happens a lot. Uh, thank you guys for joining. Noemi, great to see you. Irving, thank you so much. Hi, Luis, I see your camera now. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for that. I think I see Monica here. Maria, hi, Mary, Jasmine. Um, I have a couple of Marias, wait, I have Maria Jose. Maria Ivania. Hi, Mary. <laughs> okay, Ana Maria. All right. Uh, and I think I'm not missing anybody. So that's cool. Guys, I hope your Wednesday is going well. Hey, Adrian. Good evening. Thank you so much for uh, joining today's session, right? We have a little homework assignment for today. And that was like to practice one of the questions uh, we were checking yesterday. Um, so no worries about it. We are going to do it by the end of the class. So the rest of the guys who are not here, they have the opportunity to write, to, to practice as well. And, um, but we do have a lot of activities to cover for the day. We do have a lot of practice, especially because um, you haven't had like the opportunity to practice much and today is going to be your day. <laughs> so I'm going to speak just a little bit and I'm going to let you have fun. Um, if you remember um, yesterday, what vocabulary do you remember from yesterday, guys? Do you remember anything? Without checking your notebook. <laughs> I saw like some people checking the notebook, that's okay. Uh, do you remember any word from yesterday? Anything? Yeah. Or yesterday, yes? uh, we are continued with uh, phrasal verbs. Uh, you can use with um, a phrasal verbs union or separate with uh, verbs and particle. Oh, amazing. Okay, exactly. So we can use Phrasal verbs, sometimes we can split them, sometimes we cannot. Very nice. Okay. You mentioned something else that is a particle. All right. Pretty cool. I'm sorry, guys, about my sexy voice. <laughs> okay. No uh, but it's like pretty, you know. Uh, I got like a stuffy nose today. All right. So, yes, and that is part of the things that we have been checking. So, let's review this vocabulary from yesterday super quick here. Uh, for example, yesterday we checked one verb that refers to this. What is the verb? When you go shopping and you check the clothes, what is this? Take off. Oh, try okay. On. Try on. Because. Oh, okay. Try on. Okay. Put on, try on. All right. Take off. Yes. 
Actually, we can use it, uh, although a uh, takeoff will be the opposite, right? When you when you remove it, okay? But it's okay, very cool. What about this? What do you think the, the picture represents? Look for. Oh, okay, look for, exactly, like to check, right? To investigate, okay. What about this one? What is this one? Get on. Okay, get on, exactly. So we have here like a bus. So get on the bus. Uh, what other words or what other means of transportation do we use with get on? So get on the bus, what else? Pick up. Oh. Aircraft. An aircraft, okay, Air like an airplane. Get on, get, get on, el que vimos ayer, get on. Oh. Bus. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, get on. So get on a bus, get on an aircraft or an airplane, get on a train, get on a bicycle. That would be the most common, okay? And what about this one? The girl is like mm, removing them. Put on, take off. Okay, probably take, uh, put on, right? Or take off, try exactly. On, try or try on, on. <laughs> yes, of course, that can also work. Mm -hmm. okay. Nice, you have been studying, very good. Okay, very nice. So now before we get into some of the words and some of the things that we are going to be checking for today's class, I have a couple of questions for you so we can start discussing. So question number one says, what is the best way to calm down when you are angry? We check this on Monday, right? So calm down, relax. In YouTube, what kind of videos do you look for? So if you are, I don't know if you use YouTube. Do you use YouTube? Because now people have Netflix and Disney and all those channels, so I don't know. Okay, so maybe in YouTube, in Spotify, or in Netflix. So what kind of videos do you look for? What kind of movies, what kind of series do you look for? Uh, the third one, do you normally put on your clothes before buying it? Is that like how you normally buy clothes? Or you just say, ah, it looks good. I think I fit there. <laughs> okay, and you take it. Or do you put it on? So what do you normally do? Um, in your free time, how do you chill out? All right. Like when you have nothing to do. Um, so what, what is your free time activity? Okay, what is your hobby? So how do you chill out? How do you relax? All right. Chill out. Mm -hmm. That is chill out. Like relax. All right. And the last one, what is something you need to throw away from your house? Now, what is something that you say, I don't need it, but I just um, keep it there, you know, hold it there, not yet. Probably you a lot of things. Uh, I'll have like what, for example, um, because I am doing home office, I have a lot of clothes, um, especially formal clothes that I don't wear anymore. So I don't wear high heels. I just wear my chanclas, you know. <laughs> okay, so I don't wear high heels anymore and it's been almost two years, I need to throw them away or I need to give them away. I need to give them to somebody because they are not gonna be good for me. So what about you guys? What is something you need to throw away? Probably throw away. Remember when something is not good or I'm going to write one word in the chat that maybe you can use. Throw away when it is not good and give away when it is in good conditions, but you give it to another person. Maybe clothes, maybe shoes, maybe a computer, maybe a cell phone. So throw away when it is not good and give away when it is in good conditions. Are we okay with the questions? Give away. Give away, mm -hmm. like, like a gift, right? Like a present that is give away. Mm -hmm. um, are, do you understand these questions? Are they easy to get? Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, amazing. Um, if you can take a picture, that would be great because we are going to be discussing them. It is not necessary to write, don't take notes, unless something is new, something you don't know how to say something, uh, or you are not sure, so you can take notes. Otherwise, don't, guys, don't take notes. Just speak as much as you can. I'm going to ask you uh, to join the groups. A lot of people are sick today, so they are not joining. Yes? 
well done in me, and Cesar dice, and, um, bullying. Uh, a buy. Uh, this one, I guess you mean. Do you normally put on the clothes before buy? Okay. Like, um, for example, imagine that you go to, oh my God, where do you buy clothes? <laughs> okay, imagine that you go to Prisma Moda. That is the first place that comes to my mind. So you can pay, right, for your clothes. So you buy. Oh. Uh -huh. Now, do you put on the clothes? Do you try the clothes before you pay? Before you buy? Okay, or or is it like online, or do you buy things online that it's like, um, oh, it looks good, I'm gonna buy it. So what kind of person are you? Mm -hmm. So buy or paying, right? That is the one. Okay, guys, let's go ahead, let's join the groups, let's talk for a couple of minutes, and then we come back. So give me one second. All right, there you go. You have only five minutes, guys. So let's talk as much as you can. I did it. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Este, no está en la pantalla. Uh, hoy sí ya puedo ver la, la, las preguntas. Okay. Okay, one moment, please. Okay. Um, Either start begin. You Joshua. Okay. I the mother or me discuss. Uh, what is the best way to calm down when you are angry? Is the volunteer? Okay. For me, is uh listen to music. Nice. Uh, only listen to music. Yeah. I go. Uh, so the other technical. Um, uh, I don't know other. It's the only one that I practice. Okay, nice. So what hey. kind of music do you normally listen to? So what kind of music relaxes you a little? I don't have a special music, but uh. I listen a different kind of music. Could be salsa, could be um, rock. But I I like to to listen a uh, a bit electronic music. Oh, he's a really good artist. He has really nice music. Okay, so music calms you down. Music relaxes you. That's nice and very interesting. If I'm angry and if I listen to rock, I get angrier. <laughs> so that, that's why I was asking. <laughs> what about you guys? Okay. What calms you down? Okay, uh, the second. If you in you do uh, what king of the videos do you look for? Funny videos. 
Okay. Uh, do you normally uh, put on the clothes before buying it? Uh, no. Yes, I do. Normally, I don't buy clothes. Oh, but what, what about in the past? So, do you usually do it? Did you try it on? You no, know, uh, normally, uh, I, I have a friend and she gives me clothes. That is amazing. I want to have a friend like that too. <laughs> The okay. Roberto is very quiet. I wonder why. Pensé que estaban haciendo las preguntas a una sola persona al principio, no? O es para todos? I guess that was for everybody, right? Is the free? <laughs> it's free. Okay, yeah, okay. so I think that that can be better because going one by one is going to be more difficult. Uh -huh, so everybody can give just like answers and everybody can participate, I guess. Okay. Uh, the first question, uh, uh, I, when I, I, I'm... For, do you look for? I like... Mm. Oh my husband, no. I watch uh, Yeah. Is the teacher here? Hi teacher. Hi, I'm just visiting you guys. So don't don't worry, continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna be listening here. Okay. A uh, music video, sorry. Okay. We are uh, practice with the second one. In YouTube video, what kind of video do you, do look, you look for? for? Okay. Yeah. So I heard you said funny, funny videos, right? No, music videos, right? Music videos, yeah. Oh, okay. What about the rest, guys? What kind of videos do you normally check on YouTube? In my case, I like... Uh, Continue. Thanks. Uh, in, in my case, I like to uh, see video of racer car, music, uh, okay. and uh, that uh, TV, mm, I don't see uh, much. much. What, what do you prefer, like TV or YouTube? No, uh, I use... Uh, see a video on YouTube in, your TV. In, the, in the cellular or computer, but TV in the television is, is a little bit. I totally understand I, you. I, I get you because I don't have a TV and I don't need it. <laughs> so I <laughs> normally watch series or movies in my computer or in my cell phone and that's okay <laughs> with me. Uh -huh. So but in YouTube, I think I am a very crazy person because I can, normally I look for music, but recently I am interested in dramas, so I'm looking for some dramas. Uh, I and, uh -huh, but I also <laughs> like uh, Korean, so I'm watching like some videos uh, how to learn Korean. And I mean, that is, that is very interesting. Let yes, the culture, yeah. the culture, you know, that is one of the <clears throat> most beautiful things. So in, in, a, in, a, in my past, you know, dark moment of my life, I was so fanatic with dramas. But, oh, not but anymore? Really? No, not anymore. Well, for me, I don't have the time because okay. I becoming as a mom, oh, I spend okay. my time studying. I study administration. Oh, okay. So, it's like complicated have like a space and free time for me. Uh -huh. so you have also, to handle your time. Yeah. And also because my husband have very, very bad uh, work. I, I forget the horarios. Schedule. Schedule. He has very, a bad very, schedule. Okay. Yeah. 
I for say something, my husband worked all the night, okay. like for two weeks, and he become at home only for sleep. Oh. And I be care my baby all the day, all the day, and also all the night. So oh, okay. I don't have like my time, and also because my baby, it's like the owner of the TV. So. Oh, how old is your baby? She have one year and eight month old. Oh, okay. Now she pays attention to <clears throat> movies and those the things. The music, the uh -huh. music, poco yo, la granja. <laughs> la okay. <pancalona. laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I remember yeah. my nephews when they were that age, but but then you know when they start growing up, you can play a, a movie and you can do mm. something else, <laughs> so they can yeah. pay attention. Uh -huh. All right, all right. Yeah. I see. What? Okay, so you don't have like much time for that, guys. What about the rest of you, Maria Jose, Maria Ivania, Cristia Maria, <laughs> Cristia Maria? We have three Marias. Yes, we have three Marias. Three Marias. <laughs> what, what about you, Chris? <coughs> um, on YouTube, I watch videos about food and how to prepare bread. Do you like cooking? No, just uh, <laughs> <laughs> just watch. <laughs> Oh, um, okay. She, but, but I she like enjoy to, how the people prepare. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, interesting. But I like it. Uh, because you don't like cooking. Baking. <laughs> oh, baking. So you like baking. Baking. Oh, yes, okay. Baking, baking. So not cooking, but just baking. Like desserts, like some yeah. bread. Okay, okay. Ah, my, very nice. My husband. My husband. Cooking. Your husband cooks and you bake. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. No, but that is interesting. So it's more like like um, recipes, what you watch. So you just look yes, for recipes. He works in restaurant. Ah, okay. Very interesting. Yeah, because from cooking, I just like Master Chef <laughs> and Randy, Randy, okay. or wait. Uh, Randall, I don't remember. Like from Hell's Kitchen? Have you ever seen Hell's Kitchen? No. No. Uh, Guys, have you ever I seen that dramas. program? <laughs> oh, you've seen Doramas. No, that is not a Dorama. <laughs> yeah, Hell's Kitchen is a um, Britain. I, I, I'm not sure if it is an American or a British program. Um, yeah. It is about chef. But he is the best ever, you know. You have to watch that program. I really like that. <laughs> okay, okay. What about the rest of the questions? Um, do you have them? Can anybody share the screen? Mm. What is the best way to calm down when you are angry? I think you'll be going for the third one, right? Do you normally put on the clothes before buying it? I'll give you some extra minutes, guys, uh, so you can continue practicing. I'll just go. We in the, the clothes, right? Uh -huh. uh, in my case, I like try, I like try because if, if not, I won't know if it fits me well. And I like to wash, to wash the clothes before using, using it. Mm -hmm. But especially for the at the for the at the woman like to try it 
en, yes. en sí, en, en uh, they try a lot of clothes before to buy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't, uh, normally, pues normally, usually they don't buy quickly. They take, the, the woman take their time, take their time for <laughs> buy clothing. Yeah. Yes, I don't yes. know, what yes. do you say? Yes. What do you say, Silvia? Uh, I, I don't know, I have a question because I always try try on the clothes. Uh -huh. but because sometimes I like the clothes, but the clothes is not look well for me. Mm -hmm. So I always try on my, my the clothes that I buy. But my question is, Yesterday we know uh, we we see we we study uh, that if we can say try me on the clothes, right? That is correct to say try me on the clothes. Try try me on. Uh -huh. Because her me is. Um, the teacher say that is correct when the I don't know. Uh, uh -huh, yeah, try. Uh, it is try possible, you, try on, try, but no. Try you on the the clothes. But uh -huh. not exactly try me, uh, because the meaning will be super different. Uh, so you can say um, I like to try the clothes on. Okay. No, uh -huh. Uh -huh. without me, we don't use it. Uh -huh. Or I like, I'm going to try the shirt. I'm going to try the blouse. I'm going to try it on. So normally we use try it on because it is an object. Um, if I say try me on, it would be very weird. <laughs> A little bit strange. Uh -huh. And the connotation can be different. So because it is an object, because it is clothes, shoes, um, maybe earrings or a bracelet, a necklace. We use it. Try it on or try them yes. on. Uh -huh. So I can say I usually try try it me on. No, without the me. I usually try it on. Try it on the clothes. Yes, and, and let me um, let me just explain why. It is not very common to have two words uh, like in the middle. Uh, okay, so here, try on. Because try on refers to clothes, very similar to put on. Um, it is not very common to say try me on. It's, it's like when you say in Spanish, in Spanish, pruebame. So the meaning is totally different. So instead <laughs> of using this, because it is an object, the most common would be it or them try it if it is an object uh try them if there are a couple of objects try them on try it on and that would be it it is possible to use me you and and others you know in other scenarios in other verbs for example we have the verb help out that is help with this yeah it's different because i can tell you help me out please yeah or um, help her out, please. And that is okay. But uh, we try, no, because this is only for objects. Mm -hmm. Like okay. accessories, objects, shoes, okay. clothes. <laughs> That's why. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome, no problem. I think you're missing one question, right? Or are we okay? Are we good? So it's better to it's better to use a put on. Uh, not necessarily. You can use try or put. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That put that on, is just fine. Uh -huh. Okay. Put on the clothes. Next. Okay. Put well, on. the next. Put on the clothes. The next is uh, uh, in your free time. Uh, how do you how do you chill out in your free time? How do you chill out? 
Chill out. What's the meaning? Chill out. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, in your free time. How do you chill out? Or how do you? I don't know. They chill out, or you do maybe. How do you? Yeah, like relax, like your hobby, relax. like your free time activity. Relax. Have you ever heard the word chilling? Hey, what are you doing? Chilling. Uh, so chilling uh, is okay. doing nothing. Okay, like relaxing, uh -huh, like having a break. So what do you do uh, to chill out? Okay. Okay, um, in, me, in, my, in my case, uh, in my free time, uh, I watch TV in my, in my bed and in the bedroom. Uh, only all all uh... or no, no. Mm, i like uh, i like to watch that what? series uh, because uh, karate is good yes we need to we need to learn that okay <laughs> with the dangerous when, situation here on the country when you talk about the movies and the continuous movies i think is the saga Yes, it's like a saga, but it's uh, continue to me is because uh, the, uh, this series um, consider uh, all the pers uh, personajes uh, from that movies, uh, Karate Kid, for that uh, Karate Kid movies. I don't, I don't know. Per um how do you say personaje? The principal person in character. Yes. Yes. Characters. 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 Yes. Yes. Is a man or a woman? All the characters that from movies uh, of Karate Kids movies uh, 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 are on this series, uh, Cobra Kai. All characters it's handsome is sorry it's handsome the men porque si no no la veo <laughs> yes it is well yes. <laughs> well yeah. there are there are different tastes you know <laughs> i wouldn't say the guy is handsome not for me <laughs> I just like <laughs> Master Miyagi, I think. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but Mr. he was a, he was an old man. Oh. <laughs> what what is the question you're discussing? Uh, the quest the, the question what? was uh what's your favorite series on, on Netflix and oh and for that I I mentioning that. A Cobra Kai. Oh, okay. But I didn't know that Cobra Kai had all the characters from Karate Kid. That is new for me. I think that my favorite is The Last Kingdom. That is like, um, if you have ever seen the Vikings, are you familiar with the Vikings? No. Mm, no. Mm, it's like no. Game of Thrones. Uh, oh, no. Kinda, kinda. So, but the Vikings, uh, Game of Thrones is more fantasy. Uh, mm. Vikings is a little bit more realistic. And uh, The Last Kingdom is very similar to Vikings, but I don't know why I loved it. I fell in love from uh, episode one, but there are only four seasons, and that is the bad thing. Uh, the story finished. And he never, um, you know, succeeded. <laughs> so I'm still waiting for the other season. That was bad. That in Superman, The Last Kingdom. Did a man work in Superman? No, I don't no. know. Wait. Mm, that is the Witcher. Ah, uh, the with the long hair. With the last. No, I don't remember, to be honest, the, the Last Kingdom. This was the first time that I saw the character, um, the actor, because I didn't see him before. Oh, but he's very handsome, so maybe you would like it. <laughs> maybe it will, it will call your attention. Let me see if my internet um, 
loads. Um, but but this is the guy. He's Utrev. So, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I think probably you like to see it. But the story okay, is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> the story is good and it is in English. So for English practice, it's just amazing. Um, guys, I'm sorry to cut you. I'm sorry to stop you there. Uh, it was nice talking to you. Let's go back just for some seconds. Okay, and then we continue there. Um, thanks, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Let me just check if everybody, yes, everybody's back. Amazing. That was really fast. Thank you, guys. Um, I was listening to your answers. Very nice job with them. I didn't listen to big difficulties, understanding the meaning of the questions, using the phrasal verbs. So I'm glad just yes, with this one, chill out. Remember that the word chill out? It's like relax, yeah. Calm down is like feel a little better, um, get quiet, for example, or calm down can be um, get control of your emotions. But in the case of chill out, this is relax, right? So in your free time, what do you chill out? In English, um, there is a song, I believe, that is chilling. I don't know if you have heard that. Um, or if a person asks you guys, hey, what are you doing? and you are doing nothing, you can say chilling. I'm chilling. Yeah, so how was your day? I was, it was so chill out. So chill out is relaxed, right? Like doing nothing, probably. Now let's just move on and let's continue with the others. I have just a couple of more phrasal verbs that I'm gonna show you, and then we go and practice the second part. So here we have phrasal verbs, extra practice. We have turn around, we have take off, put out, throw away, look for, pick up, get on, run out of, and break up. I want you to take a look here because um, pronunciation is very important. A phrasal verb is a stronger in the second part. So we don't say turn around, we say turn around. For example, probably, Probably you have seen this word many times. Probably you have seen you have seen the word um, this one, right? I think you are familiar with this. But there is a little difference between this word and this word. Wait. Oh my God. There is a little difference in the meaning and difference in pronunciation here. So. This is makeup and this is makeup. Different pronunciation, different words. So do you put on makeup? And the other one, makeup, is create. So the meaning change completely. Now, how do we pronounce them? We got to make it, we got to make the second part stronger. So guys, repeat with me. Turn around. Uh, and let's emphasize around. around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Take off. Take off. Take off. Take off. Put out. Put out. Put out. Put out. Throw away. Throw away. Throw away. Throw away. Look for. Look for. Again, 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 again. Remember, the second part has to be stronger. It's not look for, but look for. Look for. Look for. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. It is not pick up. It is pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. So when it's going to dance, adentro con este pega este. Get on. Get on. Get on. Run. Run out of. Run out of. Okay. And break up. Break up. Again, break up. No, break up. Break up. Break up. 
Makeup. Makeup. Yes, uh, remember, this is makeup, but the verb, the phrasal makeup. verb is not this one, it's makeup. I'm makeup. going to make up a story. We broke up. So whenever mm. you are using phrasal verbs, we got to make up. a stronger the second part. Yes. Okay. Now, guys, remember that this is just another verb, right? We are going to check the meaning of them. Don't worry. We're going to go over the meaning in a couple of seconds. <laughs> Um, so I have just here a couple that I want to show you. Um, give me one sec. Okay. So for example, we have the first one that is break up. Break up is this, up. you know, to finish a relationship. I'm tired with my boyfriend. So I broke up with him. I broke up. No, I broke up, right? I broke up. up. I'm uh -huh. going to break up uh -huh. or break up is bad. Uh -huh. So break broke up, up. here because the break pass of break up. is broke. Uh -huh. So broke up, right? So break up is this. In the Spanish, that would be? Give vacation. Yeah. Give a space. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. It's me. me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that is break up, finish a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. When you say in Spanish, cortar, terminar, but in English, you can only use break up, right? Break up, that is the word. Okay, oh. the other one we have is run out of. So run out of. That is not having enough. For example, oh, the people, when you run out of water, I can't believe we ran out of gas, right? So they run out of, they don't have gas. They don't have water. What about you guys? Have you ever run out of anything? So run out of means that you don't have. But in Spanish, the translation. In, in Spanish, se acabó. Quedar, uh -huh, quedarse así. Exactly. exactly. For example, today I was checking my shampoo and I don't have shampoo anymore. <laughs> so I ran out of shampoo. What about you guys? Ran out of. Buddy? Okay. Like, have you ever run out of money? Se quedado sin dinero? Have you ever run out of okay. money? I ran out of money okay. every day. <laughs> <laughs> like that is a mostly situation. Run out of second house in bateria, run out of battery, uh, run out of money, uh, run out of shampoo, run out of second house in pasta dientes, for example. So you run out of toothpaste. What else? Maybe beer. Uh, beer. uh well, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That works. Run out of medicine. In oh, the, medicine. In the yes. Fire, run out of beer. Okay. No water, <laughs> but beer. Okay. I can't believe it. Imagine if you are in the party, right? So, priorities, guys. <laughs> Everybody priority. has a different priority. Okay. Run out of light. Run out of? Run out of, on, on, run out of ice. Oh, ice. Exactly. So, you run out of ice. Yes. That can also happen. So anything, especially liquids, you can just run out of things, objects. So that means like se me acabaron. I don't have any. Okay. And, uh, and yeah, pretty much we checked the others yesterday. That is like try on, right? And the rest. Okay, guys. Um, we do have 15 minutes. So I have an activity for you, but give me just a second. And you have to give us the answers for your questions from yesterday. So let's no. take a look here. Yeah, okay. Let's take a look at these phrasal verbs. We have turned around. Let's check the ones we have already studied. Like get on, run out of, break up, pick up, look for, throw away, uh, take off, and we are only missing these two, turn around and put out. Um, can anybody help me with uh, turn around? What does it mean? Turn. 
Es como rodearlo, ¿no? Uh, Can you turn, turn, or, turn ¿Cómo? ¿Girar? Turn uh -huh. off the music. Darse la vuelta. No, eh, ¿Cómo exactly. va a apagarlo? La vuelta. Oh, ok, ok. This is interesting because probably we can confuse them a little. Uh -huh, so give me one sec. Uh, in English, there are a lot of very similar words, but they mm -hmm. are different. For example, when we are talking about electricity, lights, what do I use? Torn? Ese debería apagar? No, okay. If I'm talking about the volume, so that would be torn? Turn up. Okay, turn up and turn down. Okay, so we have turn on, we have turn down. Now, what about guys? What about this other? Turn around. Uh -huh. There is an English song that is super famous. Making love out of nothing at all. <laughs> and it says turn around. <laughs> okay. So what is turn around? I think somebody said that before. A... Like, girarse. All right. Darse la vuelta. Pretty much that is turn around. Yeah. So when somebody is behind you, so you can just tell the person, hey, turn around. I'm here. Right. So you just no, got to turn. So turn around. I think somebody's a teacher. Yes. Tell me. <laughs> and, 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 a ver. Turn, girar. No, y down, down. Oh, okay. Wait, the, wait. Uh, this uh -huh. one you mean? Down. Ah, turn yes. down, bajarle, vol bajarle okay. volumen. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Let, me, let me make it. Let me, okay, dice, andate. Let no, me. Wait, which one? ¿Cuál era? Which wait, one? Wait, 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 wait. Turn. Turn. Ah, turn oh. down. Okay, let me, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Um, turn on. For example, da, for example please, da, down. Please turn down. Uh -huh. el, uh -huh. You gotta tell me what. Normalmente con ellos me tiene que decir el qué. Por ejemplo, turn on es encender, pero me tiene que decir el qué. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Si, or okay. sometimes, eh, si ya sé de qué de que me está hablando, lo podemos también combinar de esa forma. Turn it on. Encenderlo. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, me falta una F here. I'm missing an F. Um, or apágalo. Turn it off. Porque ya sé, ya sé de qué estamos hablando, right? Si yo sé que me está hablando, por ejemplo, del volumen, I can say, um, can you turn it up? Lo puedes subir, right? Or can you turn it down? De lo contrario, si no sé de lo que me está hablando, me tendría que especificar, you know? For example, turn on. Um, puedes encender el tele. Can you turn on the TV? O puedes apagar la luz. Can you turn off the lights? Um, or turn up. Turn up normally es como para subirle algo. Um, probablemente volumen, probablemente si estamos hablando del aire acondicionado, you know, se le puede subir, se le puede bajar, como regular algo. So that is turn up. Can you turn up the air conditioning? Can you turn up the volume? Como le puede subir, right? Or the opposite, can you turn down the, the volume, please? Puedes bajarle un poquito. So um, normally es solamente una de ellas. Turn around, ya cambió. Remember that phrasal verbs cambian totalmente. So turn around ya no tiene que ver ni con volumen, ni con anything, sino es girar, you know, dar la vuelta. Probably as a person, oh, turn around, yeah. So that would be darse la vuelta. Guys, no sé si, are we good? Are we clear? Got turn it. around is, is something like a, a move to face away. Um, yeah, like 180 degrees. For example, yeah. if someone is behind you, you can tell the person, hey, turn around, I'm here. Yeah, so you're just like, you turn. Mm -hmm. That can Teacher, be we are, we are in the car and we have to, to make a, a hero. I don't know how to say a, a torn. <laughs> a torn. 
a tour or uh, we can say or oh, GPS say tour around. Turn around. Yeah, that could be. If that is like a U-turn, yes. You, that can definitely work for turn around as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's another way to see it. And very useful too. Okay, so that is with the part of turn around. Remember, um, the the don't com don't what don't complicate your life. Um, dividing them, right? Don't divide them with phrasal verbs. No lo entendemos o no lo practicamos separado. No vamos a separar turn y luego on. Uh, we don't do that. Solo nos nos aprendemos la palabra tal cual. Turn on, encender. Turn off, apagar. Turn up, subir. Turn down, bajar. Turn around, dar la vuelta. So we memorize them exactly this way. Um, and something else. No lo pongan en Google Translator. <laughs> because Google Translator les va a dar una explicación que nada que ver, guys. So be careful. Okay. Now, uh, that was with turn around. What about put out? ¿Alguien ha visto esta palabra before? Put out? Put out. Uh-huh. No. Yes. Sacarla. Mm, that could be. That could definitely work. Out. Then, afuera. Um, yeah. Well, you know, normally <laughs> con, con lo, que, lo que sucede con phrasal verbs es que cambia el okay. significado totalmente. Uno sí e podría ser... Extinguir. Extinguir, extinguir. exactly. So, yeah. Extinguish. Exactly. If you are a firefighter, right? You put out a no. fire. Se extingue un fuego por lo general. Something fire, is extinguished. Mm -hmm. If you are a firefighter. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, so, now with this, con los que tienen acá, with the ones you have right here, um, in the platform, I have already... Wait, wait. I have already updated the exercise for today. Um, give me one second. Give me one second here. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, antes de irnos a la última, al último pedacito que es um, sus presentaciones de 30 segundos <laughs> o la explicación de 30 segundos. Okay. Give me one second. Les quiero mostrar lo siguiente. Las phrasal verbs que acabamos de ver no están incluidas acá. En el video del día de ahora, que es la actividad 1.6, pronunciation, stress in two part verbs, dice en la parte de abajo. Uh, investigate five phrasal verbs that are common and write a sentence for each. No pueden escribir ninguna de las que acabamos de ver, right? Uh, for example, vayan a buscar alguna phrasal verb que ustedes la han visto en alguna canción, eh, o pónganle en YouTube most common phrasal verbs y les van a salir un listado enorme, ok so, for example figure out, I need to figure out soon how to survive with five dollars for the rest of the month, ok so, busquemos cinco solamente, five phrasal verbs de cosas que ustedes hagan todos los días puede ser desvelarse puede ser um, si ponen get por ejemplo get tiene miles de phrasal verbs get in, get on, get by get into, get up, etc y las escribimos acá so solamente vamos a escribirlas oh creo que alguien ya comentó wait, hold on no, ok <laughs> so you just text them, solamente las van poniendo ahí All right. And, uh, yo, es... yo hice, yo hice sí. el ejercicio que dijo la muchacha de allí del video Oh, esto corresponde al el 1.6, 1.6. Oh, okay, okay, no, no problem, that is okay, that is just fine. So, agreguemos este también y doble homework. <laughs> La idea es practicarlo, you know, tanto como podamos, especialmente con phrasal verbs, es de memorizarlo. Okay, guys, tenemos cinco minutos, and I'm, I'm not going to let you go with this homework pending. So, so en el, las que vimos ayer son preguntas super quick y dijimos una explicación de 30 segundos, un minuto. ¿Por qué no les pido audio mejor? Porque en audio uno lo memoriza, uno lo lee. Y esa no es la idea, sino que leamos la pregunta y que sepamos cómo responderla, right? So that's why no íbamos a enviar audio por that way. 
Les presento las preguntas. Give me one sec. Guys, ¿alguien tiene las preguntas? Can you share them with me, please? I think I erased them. I wrote the questions. What time do you usually get up? It's not that. Oh, yeah. Those do are. We, exactly. We, Those are the we, ones. Oh, thank you so okay. much. Okay. I see that now. Okay, guys. Um, so um, let's go only with 30 seconds, right? 30 seconds participation. Vamos a hacerlo a random. Vamos a hacerlo al azar, you know, el que sea el afortunado o la afortunada víctima. Okay. Or if I have volunteers, that is okay. That is all right. Do I have any volunteer? Me teacher. Amazing. I like it. Okay. So I think I saw Adrian first, eh, Noemi second, and I don't see another hand. Okay, so Adrian, only 30 seconds. Tell us the question and give us your answer, right? Anna, thank you. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? Uh, okay. Uh, the question is, what is your favorite uh, place to eat out? Okay. Uh, I like the artesanian pizza in the Santa Tecla Pizza Italia. Okay. And here in the San Salvador, eh, la pizzeria okay. is I like the pastas in the here local. Okay, continue. You got 30 seconds. Uh, okay. Eh, my favorite right. pizza is the sea, eh, seafood okay. and the craft and the uh, fish. Oh. And how do you say? It's a uh, spring, a spring. Okay, <laughs> right on time, yes, very good job. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Oh, it's difficult because you are under pressure, but very good job, Adrian, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, okay. now me, I go with you second, Anna Mary, I go with you then, and then I'll have Yolanda. Okay, now me, next time we will choose the questions for you, yeah, but you're doing fine. <laughs> okay, oh. what is your question, Noemi? Uh, what time do you usually get up? And oh, you, okay. You could get up earlier or, or later. later. Okay, 30 okay. seconds. Go. Okay. I always get up around 4 a.m. Um, because every day I cook lunch for my youngest brother and me. Uh, normally, I I plan the, the food that I need to cook. And some days I cook beef with rice or chicken with vegetables. Um, after cook, I, I start uh, taking a shower. Is over. <laughs> Amazing. I like how many details you put into that, like how you included a lot of um like the ingredients everything you were making that sounds amazing thank you okay Ana Maria you and Yolanda is gonna be the lucky one okay Ana Maria 30 seconds what's your question uh, you are mute okay okay you what know? is your favorite place to eat, to eat out. Uh, okay. to eat out. 30 seconds. my favorite place is the Plaza Mundo a Pepa Shopping Center uh, because there are different options to eat and entertain. And you can work city different store, uh, food games, protein, accessories, households, intense, and it is a good place uh, to meet friends. Uh, well, time is over. Uh, Sorry to stop you there. Okay, very nice. That was a really <laughs> good one. And uh, I don't want to go before listening to Yolanda. I know you're there. So yeah, you got 30 seconds to do it. Guys, don't worry. Next time you will not be the ones, but we are going to have like some people here, like victims. <laughs> okay, Yolanda, what's your question? 30 seconds. Okay, the question is the same. What time uh, I wake up? Oh, okay. Uh, I, <laughs> I usually get up at 5 a.m. It's important for me to wake up uh, around uh, 4.30 okay. 
because uh, I need the time to prepare a coffee and breakfast for my family. Mm -hmm. And then I need to prepare my pets because they need to take uh, pills. Mm -hmm. they, uh, <laughs> uh, some of them are old dogs and I need to uh, give medicine. Oh, that's and bad. It's over. Is over. <laughs> I want to continue. I wanted to continue listening to the pets then. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Amazing. I love uh, the fluency I just heard. Me gustó mucho escuchar la fluidez con la que, um, you know, lo comunicaron. El vocabulario, muy buenos detalles. You added a lot of details. Y en inglés es lo que lo hace bonito, you know, lo que hace la diferencia entre ser hablar básico, hablar intermedio, hablar avanzado. Qué tanto detalle se le vaya poniendo, qué tanto vocabulario le vaya metiendo. Very nice job. I liked it a lot. So tomorrow eh, es el último día de, de la semana que tenemos clases, right? Ya que están programadas de lunes a jueves. Tomorrow va a ser también full practice, así que please don't miss it. Solo les quiero pedir de favor que para el día de mañana terminemos toda la sección número eh, una, right? De la plataforma. So hemos ido como little by little, le hemos estado agregando más vocabulary here. Pero recordemos completar estos que tienen un lapicito. So es el 1.4, el ejercicio 1.9 y el ejercicio 1.11. Si se fijan, solo son tres ejercicios. Eh, los que sí les pido que me ayuden completándolos para el día de mañana y que ya quedemos eh, terminados, right? Con la sección número uno. Guys, no sé si alguien tiene questions, doubts, anything. No. We're good. Okay. Uh, Super buen trabajo de like amazing job. And uh, cualquier cosita, guys, me pueden escribir a WhatsApp. Yes, Aray, tell me. Este, yo entré hasta ahora a clase porque no me habían pasado el link, pero tampoco tengo el link para el grupo de WhatsApp. Uh, no recibí el correo. Este sí, pero no, no me cayó el link para ni para las clases ni el de WhatsApp. Uh, eh, I, de, para que pasaron ahora. Uh, I mean, el correo de confirmación donde le brindan el... No lo recibió. Regálenme... Uh, denme un segundo. Denme ya esta eh, Me puede regalar su número de teléfono. O me lo escribe acá en privado, porfa. Ok. Ok. Um, so... Write it here para poder reportarle que los compañeros eh, la, la contacten directamente. Ok, guys. So, si no hay preguntas, nos vemos el día de mañana. Have a nice and amazing night and take a lot of care. So, bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Tomorrow. Have a good night.